Hi everybody, welcome down to Carter's Golf. Thanks very much for checking us out. In today's video, we're talking all about club face control. So not necessarily just talking about a three wood, we're gonna be talking about how to control your club face. I for one do a lot of golf tips on how to create more power, how to stop a slice, how to stop a hook, but how do you control the club face? Right, so anytime we're talking about the club face, we're generally talking about the grip. Is the grip correct? Now, in this instance, I'm not gonna really mention grip. We're gonna be talking about whether the, the club face is square. That's it, we wanna get the club face square. Now, whether your grip is neutral, strong, weak, you've still gotta be in a position where you can understand where the face is during the golf swing and how you can actually control it. So I wanna make sure that we can do some drills together or at, or at home on the driving range that when you hit a golf shot, your first immediate impression of the golf ball flight has got to be where did the golf ball start? Now, 85% of the time, that starts where the club face points at impact. Where the club face points at impact is very much dependent on what you do with your body and your hands at impact as well. So the drill we're going to be talking about is feet together. Feet together isolates your upper body. It isolates the lower body from being able to move and it isolates your upper body, making sure that's the only part of your body that's really moving. Very, very easy to start then wrapping the hands around the club face too much and around the golf ball and closing the face and hooking it. And then maybe as an instant reaction then to open the club face on the way through. We're effectively steering the golf ball using our hands and from halfway down, the downswing to impact to halfway through the follow through, that golf club has actually rotated 180 degrees. That's an angle that we've got to be in control of and we've got to understand and we've got to get better at controlling. Whether you're, If your swing path's out to in or in to out, you're still going to need to be able to control that club face as well. All right, so as I hit that shot, I skied it a little bit because it's not normally my normal golf swing but the, the ball started slightly right of target. So I can now assume club face as I struck the ball was ever so slightly open. If the club face was slightly open and I go into that full speed, I hit that push shot to the right, or if I open it too much and I cut it, if I cut across it in my swing, it creates the slice shot. So straight away now, I'm starting to try and feel how can I correct that? I've not got the help of my lower body on this, and it's a great way to now start to feel how much that club face rotates. So as I was saying before, the club face here, the toe of the club is up on the way down. It goes into impact and it comes through straight into this position where the toe of the club is now up. So that club face is rotated 180 degrees. Now a lot of golfers in general, maybe don't have the lower body flexibility, don't have the, the speed and the core, etc. Not To be fair, not many of us do, and not many of us are golf fit. So we're going to have to use the hands and arms to create some power, create more speed, but also to be able to control the club base as well. So we've got to be able to kind of be aware of exactly what the hands and arms are doing during the golf swing to help create speed and help create power. I really love this drill with a lot of the clients that I coach because I really want them to be able to understand what the club face is doing through the golf shot, being able to use the lower bodies that is amazing but being able to coordinate it with their upper body is massively important so again feet very close together corrected perfect strike really nice strike i mean the last one before was a bit skied but the club face the way the, where i've started that ball was perfect and i felt the difference as i come to here I felt the club face and the hands I felt the hands re-hinge and I felt the club face start working a lot more through the shot. Now, I'm again, I'm normally the advocate for my, for my own game of using my lower body to help square the face up. But we've got to also remember that when we're doing that, we are still using the hands on the way back down. We're still, the club face is always rotating because don't forget, the golf swing, your body rotates, your shoulders have rotated 90 degrees back. They're going to rotate 90 degrees back to the ball and they're going to rotate at least 90 degrees into impact through impact as well so you have to make sure that everything is uniform so getting an understanding of how the club face releases through the golf ball working on that release pattern how that's going to feel when you get over a golf ball is going to feel so different when you've set the wide stance and you've got the whole body working as well
Right, so go and give those drills a try at home and drop me a comment below. And as ever, if you've enjoyed this video, please do hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, please do also subscribe. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again.